Ryan, it's 2013. It turns out the eShop still exists. The eShop? Yeah, you know, one of the major changes this year is they are trying to get a new spin. By oh. Getting it, uh, eh. <laughs> they're gonna they're gonna wash out uh, all the old stuff. Well, they're just kind of, they're just embracing people's response to the eShop, which was kind of, eh. So you know, just kind of <laughs> just really just lean into it. So we're looking at Fluidity Spin Cycle. This is a, uh, a 3DS eShop game. Although it may as well be DS, there is no 3D uh, in this game. Really? Yeah. Like even if you crank up that upper yep, screen, nothing. nothing? Doesn't you see, usually you would see a flicker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, so there, there's no 3D in this. Uh, there were a number of games that are still coming out that were uh, made for the DS and then kind of brought over mm -hmm. or held over for the 3DS so that they uh, could kind of take advantage of it being a newer platform. Sure. Um, it being a place that people might actually buy yeah. a downloadable game. Yeah. So what uh, is this? Fluidity came out, I believe, for the Wii. Uh, was actually a late cycle game for the Wii. Uh, was Wait. pretty... You remember it? I kind of remember it. Yeah, it was I at a, PAX. I think I did a quick look at this. Yeah, maybe. Already. Uh, so the, the that it was pretty well received. People, uh -huh. people liked it. Uh, and so this is a, a sequel for the 3DS that... Uh, uses motion in a, a slightly different way. So we'll let's see. I don't want to start with the full so cycle. Some of these you've one. already done, obviously. Yeah. So you at the stage like some of those had a little like uh, 360 icon, and we'll, we'll get into what those stages mean. But uh, this game heavily leans into the gyroscope. So you're gonna be doing a lot of tilting here. Yeah, which you, you won't see. You know, me actually physically doing that, but it, it'll make quite a lot of sense from just how it looks on the screen. Oh, that uh, guy just melted. Yeah. Uh, so you don't have any... No D-pad here. No D-pad. Uh, you've got... Uh, oh, this... I totally remember this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got two buttons on... The bu the the buttons on the bottom change functionality based on what's happening on screen. Oh, on the lower screen here? Yeah, your, so... Your E buttons. If I if I hit that, that blue button on the right, um, that sucks me back up. Right, yeah. If I hit that too much, you'll see I'm boiling. Yep. So you kind of got to use that uh, sparingly. Okay, so and the functionality for the other button changes based on what's happening in the environment. Okay, so, so it's all contextual here. Yeah. So that is causing you to blast up into this uh, wheel here, which is causing back this up. other mechanism to lower this gate. And I imagine that you will then have to fly through that quickly before that. I think it'll just stick. Comes back up. Okay. So no, I've done I've done as much as I can there. So I suck myself back together. Uh, because, you know, the, the game is, is scoring you at the end, you know, you're getting stars for certain things, so if you lose too much of yourself, then, Your you know... Your score will be bad. Yeah. I mean, other than that, just being like, you know, you don't, you probably shouldn't do that, uh, yeah, it'll, it'll reduce your score. So those little, uh, the little water drops that you're picking up, are those, like, reconstituting, or are those making you even bigger? So now you're at 140. Uh, so you're, that, that is sort of separate. You are always... Oh, okay. Like, the liquid you have does not get bigger or smaller based on what the items you collect. But if you separate yourself, like, you'll see I've separated myself now. Okay. Um, there are pieces okay. that you can, you're controlling all of it at once, but there is actually one central piece. Uh, and you can get separated, and then there'll be indicators on the screen that sort of tell you, Hey, the other parts of you over here, you might want to collect yourself. Um, because the more you have of yourself, um, that's the only way to, like, you know, unlock some of these... Uh, little triggers. If you only have a little piece of yourself, those triggers aren't going to allow you to open doors and, and move through the level. Uh, and if you hit L or, L or R, you can get yourself to jump. See now, you see okay. that uh, little icon over the right. I'm trying to get myself back together. Okay, I see, yeah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay. Well, those little uh, black uh, tarry blobs there. Uh, that's related to some nonsensical story that is a part of this game. Got it. Something about blobs and you're out there and I'm in, I'm in a wizard book. I don't know. Saying, that that, that so part you, doesn't really matter. So, you're, so strong fiction then. <laughs> yeah, not really, not really clear in the, the mythology elements of uh, the fluidity series. Uh, so the, you know, like these little bits are fun because you've got to press a button to keep yourself together and then another button to shoot yourself up and then you're tilting the the 3ds. To, to get, get yourself in the position you want to. Right, and also you're carrying this little gear here, which I has carry its, this gear. its own weight and physics to it. Yeah. Then you have these sections uh, in order to get like the high score. You want to try collect all of these. 
Oh, get that last one. Oh. So if you get all of those, then uh, it you have to collect all of them in order to get like this big orb, which gets you like a hundred. Okay. So the only way to get like all five stars is to finish the stage in a certain amount of time, uh, and then collect as many orbs as you can. Uh, there are also hidden puzzle pieces that I assume unlock some maybe more secret stages. Uh, but I haven't gotten for, far enough to, to really understand what the... Oh, get that dinosaur to tilt his head oh. up. There you go. Come on. Come on. Boom. All right, so that time I got him. Okay, that was another one of those little yep. puzzles. And I clicked myself. Head towards the exit. Collect my little friend there. So the, the stages are Water split people. up. Water people. Yeah, exactly. Uh, the stages are split up between... Normal gravity and 360 stages. Um, so those normal gravity stages, you can... The way you're kind of planning your attack is the idea that when you get shot up, you're going to come back down. Um, and then there are 360 stages that require full tilt of the 3DS, also known as games that maybe you shouldn't play on a bus because you'll look like an asshole. Got it. Uh, so we'll, we'll jump into one of those. To the asshole stage! Yeah, exactly. But I really appreciate, right off the bat, this game grabbed me because the whole first world is based on dinosaurs. Mm -hmm. So that is not a persistent theme through the entire game? No, I think there, there are four different worlds. Um, seems like there's a lot to this game. So you're saying in these stages the uh, the gravity is, is more relative? Right, so, so right now uh, I, I can tilt back and forth. Um, but then if I tilt the 3DS entirely, now I've moved to the top. Oh, okay, I see. And now if you if you saw how I was holding the 3DS, I am kind of like in some of those iPhone games like uh, Rolando. Sure. Um, cool. I'm using the, the, the full extent of the gyroscope and the accelerometer in order to, to move these guys around. And so what you'll end up having to do is manipulate these other objects in the environment. So... In order to get down to where I'm going, I lean the 3DS oh, okay. forward. So that, that causes that little gate. Keep to myself together. Slide up, and then. Same so then you're here. constantly doing this stuff, but then trying to manipulate it so you keep your whole self together. Right. So you end up really. It, it is. It, it's. It's got it's a certain v v v v v v v. Yeah, vibe, a little bit, so. but actually, but actually, uh, having more direct physical control as opposed to uh, you know flipping it with. You know, just hitting the A button. Oh, I've got to hit this. So in order to flip those switches, you've got to have enough of yourself together. Uh, oh, looks like you're not going to get that gear that way. No, i got to go back the other way. There's some other bonus stuff over here. I see. Got another one of these little track things. Uh, for the folks at home, Patrick is swinging himself in the 3DS around <laughs> like an asshole. Uh, yeah, really, when I, really making good on that. Did, didn't really know this was a huge part of this game, because, you know, I, I played a little bit of the, the Wii one. Yeah. And you're just tilting the, the Wiimote. And Vinny comes to check my progress and just goes, Ah! Like, <laughs> what the hell are you doing? So I'm just, like, sitting here in the quick look room by myself, just... <laughs> Yeah, you gestating. <laughs> you look gesturing like, wildly. You look like you're having some sort of like OCD panic attack or something. <laughs> I mean, it's fun. You just look. Com it, it, it doesn't help that you know we're hooked up to this debug kit. Yeah, that yeah. Had yeah. These for, huge wires for, coming out for of it. For the sake of this, to capture it, yeah. There's a big old harness on the top of the the 3DS unit itself. Uh, I, I don't really think that that would. Uh, change how ridiculous you look. No, it just makes it harder because right. I have these giant giant video cables coming out of it. But yeah, it's So what's the what's the other than, you know, get all the stars, what's the uh, uh, impetus to try and get all the to try and get five stars on everything? Is there like a I think it's just a scoring mechanism. It doesn't like unlock more stages once you get X number of stars or anything like that. No, or? so if you like you did X you get this progress meter um, that kind of tells you what your you know, there's four worlds and mm -hmm. Uh, there are essentially there are 60 stages that you're trying to collect these uh, sort of like colored water fairy beings, whatever. Um, it's it's not super clear. Like it says at the beginning of the game, hey, if uh, you want to get five stars, you want to collect these uh, hidden pieces. 
I assume that maybe, you know, unlocks other worlds. Mm -hmm. um, I've collected a couple of these pieces, but uh, thus far, they have not unlocked anything substantial for me, but I also have not completed the first, the entirety of the first world. Like, let's I, let's I, see this this latest. Uh, let's see one nine here. I want to see as far as you've gotten in this so far. It's it's gotten pretty weird. Goop gravity shift. Goop, yeah, goop is all that black stuff. That Got it. It's causing problems in the world of fluidity. All right. So this is another so, case of. Yeah, the mechanic that was just introduced in the last couple of stages I was playing are you'll find... So you see a little green arrow up in the upper left-hand corner there? Uh-huh. So I'll hit that, and that shifts the gravity. Oh, so now all the gravity is relative to that wall by default? Yeah, you'll see that oh, little, so that little wave comes through. Right, and then you're moving that block around. So the, a lot of the trick becomes this balancing act of... Uh, in order to collect a lot of these bonus bits that, that float up as a result of finishing uh, parts of the level, you have to keep as much as yourself together as possible, but as you're pressing the button to keep yourself together, uh, you're go causing back. yourself to boil. Alright, let's see. Uh, gotta get uh, down and around for the gear. Oh, okay. I see and that. I see that. Shift it over there. there. It's going to hit that button, and then it's going to raise that. Yep. Gate. And then gear goes in there. So a lot of like your first run through is just getting a feel for where these bonuses are, because in order to get five stars, not only do you have to collect all the little water droplets that are available, you also have to finish it um, in a timely fashion. Yeah. So I've actually really, the, the ones I've enjoyed more so far are these tightly controlled rooms. Like the, these ones with the gravity drops. Yeah, yeah, where it looks more like a, a puzzle than just like, here's kind of a platformy thing. Right, like that, that stuff where it becomes so much more about your ability to manage jumping. Like, I, I don't know, I, I don't find that as, as fun. I mean, it does, it, by the virtue of you controlling this big unwieldy kind of glob of water, it's, it... You know, that's that's not going to be the cleanest, most responsive kind of way to play. Mm. All right, let's see. What are you doing? That's gotta, what I have to do next. Got to get into the hole. Got to go rescue the thing. Door's oh, open. Right there. I, well, I don't know what I was paying attention to. Look, we went for a long lunch today, right? I'm not the one who had several Hawaiian beers. Damn it. Long boards. Stay together. Stay together. Stay together. There we go. Yeah, like that that little that little bit of frustration there of like just go in the hole. Right. And uh, and, and and that becomes way more paramount in the much larger stages yeah. where you know the, the level is you know the design is the level design is purposely separating you to test your ability to to keep yourself together. And I, I just find those those to be way less enjoyable than the sheer oh. puzzle mechanics. I would have had to get the. Uh, I definitely didn't do that. Um, uh, so back at the the menu here at the level select, um, in the upper left corner, mm -hmm. uh, the playrooms. What is that about? I don't know. Oh, okay. So these puzzle pieces, which are hidden in like remote parts of the the stages and are not tied to uh, the rating system. Mm -hmm. So you can you, you can just go back to a stage, find the puzzle piece later. Um, in order to get five stars, it is not contingent that you must find the puzzle piece. That is completely independent of that. Okay. Um, what these actually unlock, uh, not super clear, but obviously they must, they must be more than just, if that's just concept art, then don't make concept art a hidden thing. I mean, it looks like yeah, like you, if you get all those pieces, you're gonna unlock some other. I would hope that stage the, it's or it's yeah, like a, a really difficult stage that kind of taxes your skills. Um, they've done that in some of the Mario games on on handhelds, and I always like. I, I feel like that's a more interesting reward than just see some concept art. So what is this like? This game. Fifteen or sixteen stages. Per Seems about world. 15 stages. Uh, there's 60 total, so 15, 30, 45, 60, yeah. so 15 apiece. 
All right, so this is a normal gravity stage. So if I flip it upside down, which I'm doing now, you know, nothing's nothing's going on. So gravity is always relative to down. Oh, we're gonna get. I think we're gonna get a new power. So my ability to uh, suck myself back together uh, is a special ability, and I think there are six of them. Uh, so uh, we're about to, to discover the second one. Like you might capital E explode. Yeah. Try, try gathering. gathering with a capital G. And then pressing on the touch screen. Hmm. Oh, okay, so I should be able to blow out that, uh, that rock there. But the water management is kind of fun when you're we're doing like these moments like this mm -hmm. where you you know you, when you jump all parts of you jump um, so it is kind of fun like when the game splits you and then you're trying to manage uh, everything that's happening uh, across the splits that it sort of creates through the levels. And the water just looks kind of cool. Looks like you just want to jump there. Maybe jump and explode? Aha! There you go. A little bit of both. What's, what's this? It's hidden? Boom! Look at that! Good eye! Got you, level design. I know how video games work. <laughs> I know what weird geometry looks like. So you played the Wii one? Or you think you I, played the Wii I'm one? I'm pretty sure I did. <laughs> pretty sure I did a quick look of the, the Wii game. But you also, what, what was that one for uh, XBLA? The... Right. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Then you mentioned it right before we started recording. Uh, Alex actually ended up reviewing that game. I can't, it came out last year. It was a PAX 10 game before yep. that. Uh, and I'm it, embarrassing here because I really cannot pull the name of that off the top of my head right now. Because it was something kind of like yeah. fluidity. It was yeah. it was some other uh, descriptor like that. And you were, you were manipulating liquid kind of in the same mm -hmm. way. The game it was, more, it was more goo, but yeah. Uh, but yeah. The game came out uh, on Steam recently. It's developed in Israel. Really? Mm hmm Huh. That goop slug is on fire! That's... Something about that sounds racist. I can't <laughs> decide how. Oh. Oh, oh. I imagine that, yeah, that fire is going to mess up your water body pretty badly. Ooh. Oh. Get up, get up, get up. Checkpoints. What is it? One of seven? I would. Are we not paying? Do we have to collect something? Oh, I gotta! Oh, I gotta kill those guys! I bet that's what this stage is about. Yeah, because they go between this uh, fiery and non-fiery state, so you gotta wait for them to cool down. I get them. Now you probably just explode that rock guy, on yeah. them. Yeah. Boom. Smoosh. That means you're gonna have to go back. Yep. Yep. That was, ah, no, oh, that was ah, your time. Oh, oh, no, I got him. Yeah. You sure did. All right. Wait for a second. So, I, I guess some of the story is told through this stuff. Uh, oh, jeez, like, look at that. Uh, you, part, part of the plot is you being involved in, like, this... Tops from the distance. We this wizard have book. ...tends to be large birds. However, the professor insisted that we study them at closer quarters. We discovered instead of calling it huge flying reptiles, we watched enthralled as the parents brought food to their young. Okay. Um... It's kind of hard to read. I mean, I saw the like the little page break, the little spine right effect there earlier. All right, let me find one more dude. Blow it up. There she is. Boom. Oh. 
Jurassic World. They just uh, announced the release date for Jurassic Park 4. I saw that. And that's... And then immediately, like, this is the hilarious changing face of, like... What are you doing? Go back. Oh, I know. Uh, social media. Uh, they immediately just send out a Facebook invite <laughs> to go to the premiere if you have liked Jurassic Park on Facebook. Sure, why not? Yes, I would like to make sure this date in 2014 is on my calendar <laughs> immediately. Clear my schedule! Because this won't shift at all. Well done. Um, so I, this is this is fluidity spin cycle. Uh, uh, any any idea how much this is? It's ten ninety nine, which is a weird price. That point. is a weird price point. That is and, how uh, much I paid for it on the eShop. That's maybe more than. Yeah, that's maybe I was a little, thinking little maybe steep. like six ninety nine. Yeah, like six or seven bucks. Like that seems maybe. Yeah, ten nine. Other than ten ninety nine, feeling slightly more expensive. It's also just a weird price. Like it's not an. Like nine ninety nine is kind of impulse. Sure. Right. Like there's something about that that makes sense. But now, there's uh, a psychological reason that people price for, things at at certain things. For sure. And you know we're we're still here in the first world. There's three others that we haven't even seen yet, and already there's there's two mechanics. So I imagine you know they're they're going to keep stacking that stuff on. There is an I've I've played a full hour, and I'm not even through the first world. So you know you're looking at probably you know five six hours just to get through the game, and then if you are a completionist or if you want to get you know, access. We are clearly some of the some of the bonus features. I just wonder like how like how complex they get and like how layered they get with the mechanics. If they you know require you to kind of juggle multiple mechanics at once. Well, it's cool. I, I I expected that you would lose the ability to group yourself to gain the ability to explode. But you know, it sounds like maybe the way they're going to handle it is, uh, you know layering those mechanics on top of each other and that there becomes like a you know even a more detailed balancing act that occurs yeah. as a result but uh it seems like a smartly designed game it's fun uh just yeah the 1099 sort of threw me for a loop when for, for what it is it's a it seems like a you know a pretty it's a well made it's a well made game i'm not even i'm not even suggesting that it isn't worth 1099 i'm i'm only just sort of as a casual observer of people as a person who buys things sure 1099 is just a weird Price point. It also could be on sale. I don't know. You know, it's indeed. The e shop's a weird place. It, it would, sure is. The e shop is governed by its own <laughs> rules. Well, Patrick, thanks for uh, for giving us a look at uh, Fluidity Spin Cycle, available now on the Nintendo e shop. That's right.